forward. Okay, so take your glasses off because they're distracting. Hi, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. I was just doing some research. I tend to be an eccentric person. I'm an artist and a model. And I'm going to talk in this video about, I'm trying to make more linear sense because I tend to be a really creative, chaotic person. And I'm trying to organize my thoughts. I want to talk in this video about what I would teach if I was going to teach a class helpful to others, because I listen to some people give advice on how to make YouTube channels that might attract more subscribers. And if you have a certain message and you're trying to teach something, people like to search on YouTube for how to videos. And when I do my videos, I tend to just kind of do spontaneous improv and just make it up as I go instead of having a specific mission. So I want to make this video about if I was going to teach a class, what would it be? Um, because I'm 53 years old now, and which means I have a lot of experience. Some people don't like to share their age for fear of being judged. I actually like to share my age because I feel like I'm healthy and aging well, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, I've been on this earth for 53 years. I was born in 1968 in California. And I, um, let me just give you a brief synopsis of my life story. I uh, am an only child. I'm left-handed. My parents divorced when I was four. I grew up in San Diego. When I was nine, my mom and I moved and lived in Petaluma at an artist commune briefly. And then we went to Whidbey Island. Whidbey Island, I went to high school, graduated and studied graphic design after high school. And in high school, I was interested in art and music and choir and acting. The creative arts, basically, has always been my focus. I used to take piano lessons when I was a kid, and I've written a few songs and done improv. So I know how to do improvisational music on the piano. And then I got into, I'd studied graphic design after high school, but I never pursued that. And then I got into art modeling in my 20s after uh, college. I went to the Seattle Central Community College graphic design program way back in the 86 to 89, before computers kind of took over. So I actually learned how to do graphic design with rapidograph pens and um, that red, um, I forgot what it's called, but illustration board and exacto knives and actual physical ink and paper that we had to scan into the computer when computers were pretty primitive back in the 80s, the late 80s. Um, and then computers kind of took over right after I graduated. So I kind of just miss learning a lot of computer stuff. I taught myself how to be an art model. I took art history. I have education and design. So if I was going to teach a class, that's kind of my life in a nutshell, uh, ever since um, college, I studied graphic design, and then I um, got into art modeling. And I even uh, had a job dancing at a place, which I won't discuss here, uh, for fear of offending certain sensitive people. But let's just say that I'm comfortable um, with my natural human self from head to toe. And so I've explored career options that have to do with being a natural human being. I've also gone to naturist gathering, clothing, optional gatherings that were family friendly. Uh, I'm not talking about something weirder than that, but never mind. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> See, now that's one thing. Everything is so conservative now. Like we have to really be careful what we say. And I know that no matter what I say, somebody might think it's weird um, because I am an eccentric person, according to uh, mainstream conservative ideas, conventional ideas. Uh, I'm left-handed. I'm an only child. I have synesthesia. I see shapes when I hear music. So I'm kind of an unusual person. I'm not your typical conventional person. And I'm, I can't pretend to be who I'm not. 
But when I try to think of how could my videos be useful to you, the viewer, I'm trying to figure out, okay, if I was going to give myself a video assignment, if I was going to teach a class, what would that be? I could teach somebody how to build a freelance career because that's what I've done. It took me seven years to break into the art model business. Uh, I did it through word of mouth. I did it through getting my first art model job when another art model gave me information. And I contacted, I started by modeling at one art school. And then I was like, oh, I like this figure modeling feels good. Okay, I can do this. This feels normal to me to, to pose for art students and let them draw and paint um, and just hold still, pick something comfortable that I can do. And it took me a while to figure out what can I do and what can't I do. My background in art history helped me come up with poses. I took figure drawing classes, so I kind of knew what it was like to draw from the model and paint from the model. Uh, and I always thought, well, maybe I'm shy, but I'd rather be the model than draw the model. So I became the model a few years after that. So I could teach a class in how to be a figure model in terms of the actual physical, how do you figure out what poses to do and how do you get yourself booked by contacting all of the art schools, by getting on all of the lists, by having somebody take photos of you or doing self-portraits that you can share with people and give the samples to the schools, you network, you promote yourself. And then mostly what really builds your career as an art model is word of mouth, because if you're good at it and they like to draw you and paint you and you show up on time and you're professional, then you usually start getting more work. Uh, not everybody feels comfortable being an art model. And so they look for people that are comfortable doing it because it is an unusual skill to have to be comfortable with people looking at you and hold still and not wear any fabric on your skin, basically in a safe, a private environment. That's an art studio. Um, people are very respectful of the model and there's usually a space heater if it's cold and air conditioning, if it's too hot and there's the clean blankets and padding on the art model stand. So there's certain etiquette. So there's certain ways of being a professional art model. I could also teach people how to paint onto shoes. I use a waterproof uh, permanent marker, fabric paint and uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I also decorated my art car. So I could teach somebody how to decorate an art car with rhinestones. I could teach somebody how to paint onto shoes, backpacks, um, jackets, you know, fabric, wearable art. Maybe I'll show some of my art in the next video. For this video, I just want to talk into the camera. So I'm trying to get uh, my subscription up to a thousand. I've been on YouTube since 2005 and I have like 911 um, subscribers last time I looked. So if you like my videos, please uh, like, and subscribe and share and spread the word. I'm an artist and a model, and I'm also a pet care person. I love animals. I love nature. These are my passions. So I want this channel to be about what can I do? What can I share with you? That's useful. I follow a lot of other YouTube channels. I'm very inspired by people that talk about, um, uh, spirituality, health, nutrition, um, how to follow your passion, manifest your dreams, how to do what you love. I'm inspired by those people. I'm trying to figure out what is it that I can offer you? What can you get from me? Like, what can I be of service and of value? Cause I found myself breaking into the art model business because people need the figure to draw. And now I'm taking care of pets, dogs, and cats, mostly um, although I would love to take care of a different kind of pet, like a guinea pig or a ferret, or even if somebody had a pet tarantula, I'm comfortable with, with even tarantulas. Um, I used to volunteer somewhere where they had tarantulas. So, um, I'm comfortable with, with snakes, with mice, with rats, with all kinds of animals. That's a forte I have. Cause I know some people are afraid of, of rats and mice. I'm not at all afraid of, I'm not afraid of tarantulas. I'm not afraid of of, uh, of rats and mice. And, um, I'm not afraid of, um, nature. So what can I teach you is what I'm thinking. What can I teach you? I am a really good photographer. I have a really good eye. I could teach how to do certain kinds of photography composition. 
I could teach how to paint shoes. I could teach how to be a figure model. I could teach how to do good self-portraits. Uh, I know how to find the right angle on my face and, you know, good lighting and a good angle. Most people, even if somebody thinks they're not photogenic, they can usually get a good angle. If you have the right lighting and you find your best angle for your bone structure, like for instance, for me, I have these lines right here. And if I tilt my head up and the lighting, lighting isn't so good in here, but um, if I tilt my head at a certain angle, these lines disappear. And I have like freckles and lines on my forehead. So when I photograph myself and I look better with my hair down, but I thought I would keep my hair up for this video just to be different. Um, and my cute kitty is sitting behind me on the couch there. It's my kitty Kisun. He is on a special raw meat diet, nutritionally balanced for all life stages of a cat. So I guess I'm all over the map. I thought I was going to try to focus. This video is about what can me, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, teach you? Like people search how-to videos. So it might be good for me to figure out what can I use my channel for? Like, if you have any suggestions, feel free to tell me. I think I've disabled comments on this video, but I am open to you emailing me. If you go to my website, shannonkringen.com, you'll find my email there. And you can email me with questions or comments about, is there any certain thing you would like me to talk about on my videos? Like if, there, if there's something you would like to know can I teach you like how to be an art model, how to be a full-time freelance person? I'm frugal. I live in Seattle and Seattle is a very expensive city in the United States. And yet I know how to live in a very frugal way. I have many different tips and tricks that I use to survive uh, without being extremely wealthy. Um, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't need to impress people by talking about how wealthy I am because I'm like not wealthy. Um, and yet I work hard. I'm not lazy. I'm proud of working hard, but I don't want making tons of money to be my biggest goal in life. So I would love to figure out how to use this YouTube channel to help offer something to you. Um, my artwork, I also offer for people. Um, so I could teach somebody how to take certain kind of photos, how to paint onto wearable art, how to be an art model, how to be a frugal person, how to pursue your dreams and live in an improvisational synchronistic way, how to follow your bliss. I guess I could, what can I teach? Can I teach? I don't know if I have the right personality to do the normal YouTube how-to kind of video. So I'm just asking myself these questions. My goal is to get at least a thousand subscribers. I have 911 so far. Last time I looked and earlier today, I only had 905. So thank you to my new subscribers. I'm hoping that I have something of value to share with you. Um, I love to talk and do improvisational monologues. I was also thinking of um, speaking out some of my poetry. I could share my photos, my art, my poetry, my spoken word. I could tell stories about my life. I've had a very unusual life. I've done a lot of unusual things, done a lot of traveling. Uh, I could talk about that. I could talk about recent dreams I've had um, and the inspiration of that and the symbolism I see in that. So I recently had an amazing synchronicity where I had a dog, I have a dog walking job and it's got a certain, uh, pattern to how it's done. And I had two days this week where I had other things interfering with it. And I was a little worried about it. And then the lady uh, coincidentally had to cancel those two days that I was having a conflict. So it was almost like perfect, like, okay, perfect synchronicity that the universe took care of that issue for me. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just random luck of the draw, but I'm really grateful that two days this week, my schedule shifted in a way that fit perfectly with my different schedule. So that felt like synchronicity. And I feel like when you're doing what you love and you're doing your passion, things seem to line up and there's synchronicity involved. So maybe I could talk about that. I want my channel here on YouTube to be about inspiring people to follow their heart, follow their dreams, trust their intuition. Maybe I can tell stories of my life uh, that would inspire you to trust yourself and trust your own inner hunches or your own intuitive sense of what's the best thing for you. Because 
every day we make choices and we are bombarded with different options and people tell us what we should and shouldn't do. And other people give us advice, which may or may not be helpful. And I found that some of the best decisions I've made are the ones I make by myself without anybody else telling me what I should or shouldn't do. Sometimes it's nice to ask somebody else what they would do in your shoes. But most of my best decisions, I have to admit, have been when I've just done it on my own. Maybe some family and friends gave me some feedback, but mostly I just did it on my own. So, and definitely nobody could really teach me how to be an art model. I sort of taught myself. I'm very intuitive. So I don't know if I'm really a teacher because everything I do is intuitive. I once tried to teach a shoe painting class at an alternative high school many years ago. And I admit I was really not very good at it. And it was sad because I thought I had something to offer. And these teenagers just already knew what they wanted to do. And they didn't really need my input. And I wasn't particularly persuasive in trying to teach them my technique. They seemed to just want to do their own technique. Uh, maybe that was just my wrong audience. So I could teach something to do with modeling, art modeling, photography, shoe painting, art car decorating, improvisational life style choices. I mean, I don't feel like I chose to be an alternative improv person. That seems to be always the way I've been. I remember being 10 years old when my mom was driving me to school one day, telling my mom I was a multimedia person. I want to do a little music, a little art, a little this, a little that, a little acting, singing, dancing. And she's like, oh, that's great. But when you grow up, you need to pick one thing and focus on it. That's what she said. And, or she said, it probably would be best if when I grow up, I just picked one thing and focused on it. Maybe she was right, but I still feel like that I was 10. That was 43 years ago. Cause I'm now 53. So 40 years ago, my mom and I had that conversation in the car about multimedia. And even then I knew I was multimedia. Like I love animals. I like to write poetry. I like to paint onto wearable art. I like to model for other artists. I like to model for myself. I like to take photos of animals. Uh, I take really good portraits of animals. Um, I like to take photos of water droplets on leaves. I like to take unusual abstract photos of chrome and water reflections. Um, I like to look for beautiful light and capture the, the composition and color. I take photos of lots of different things, but the most common theme is the shapes, the composition. It's the color and composition that I'm really good at. So if I was going to teach a class in photography, I would teach composition. You could take a picture of a person, a plant, an animal, a mud puddle, a water droplet on a leaf, a flower, a tree, a landscape, a urban decay, an old rusty train track. But the common thing that makes the photo powerful, in my opinion, is composition. Some people are focused on depth of field. Depth of field matters, the part that's in focus and out of focus, close and far away. But my overall desire when I take a photo that I think is well done is the composition, the shapes in the square, the, the edges, particularly the edges, the corners and the edges I always try to find pleasing shapes. If you go to my flickr.com, I have over 7,000 photos and I have many different categories of photos, self-portraits, landscapes, urban decay, plants, animals, um, lots of different kinds of photos that I've taken. But the common theme is composition. And I could also teach about abstract art. I can teach about abstract art composition. I mean, when I do com composition in my abstract art, it is similar to, because some people think there's no rules in abstract art, but there really is. There's design rules, there's balance. There's the golden proportion, the golden mean, the whatever they call it in design. I forgot what they call it, but I've trained, I'm trained in design, in graphic design. And my mom had art books in our house. So I was exposed to color and shape from a very early age. And I think I was born with a natural talent for composition, color, and shape. But definitely my mom exposed me to lots of art. And then I studied art in college and in high school. And I had a really good art teacher in high school on Whidbey Island. So color and composition. So maybe I could talk about my artwork. 
I could talk about photography, modeling, art, painting, composition. See, I, I don't know. I have lots of ideas. So if you have any ideas you want to share with me, what would you like me to talk more about in terms of what I could teach you? I like the idea of being useful to you guys on YouTube, like whoever you are that's subscribed to me, is there something I can talk about that would be useful to you? I would love to hear what that is. So go to my shannonkringen.com and email me and tell me. And I guess if I don't hear anything, I don't know if people just aren't listening or if people just want me to make it up as I go and they don't need to tell me certain things. I don't know, but feel free to ask me or tell me what you would like me to talk about here one person suggested that I film when I'm an art model that I film people drawing me. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that, but I think that's a really cool idea. I don't see myself doing that. I like to do my own solo thing. Asking permission for someone to be in my video. Also, you know, I have to ask permission, you know, do you mind? Do you want to be in my video? Do you want to be on my YouTube channel? Uh, so Maybe I could also do a conversation or a chat with somebody here on YouTube. If you want to join me and be on the screen with me, I'm not even sure how to do that, but I see people having interesting conversations with another person on YouTube. So maybe me and somebody else could have a conversation about an interesting topic and talk back and forth. And then I could publish that. I like the idea of being inspirational, either educational or inspirational. So thanks for listening. This is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. I'm in Seattle, Washington, USA, and I'm a open-minded free thinker. And um, I think empathy and compassion are very good skills to have, especially now with people who feel differently than you about any topic, really any topic. People are arguing about all kinds of topics these days. I don't want to add to the, the stress of that. So I want to be here to share positive, inspirational, uplifting messages. And I could talk about my experience as a model and an artist and a designer and a free thinker, improvisational, make it up as I go kind of a person. Those are my ideas for today. So, okay. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. If you like what I do, please like, and subscribe and share the video. Have a good day. Bye for now.